A very good morning to you. Today is the 15th day of September 2023. And the reason I'm chatting with you early this morning is because today, the 15th day of September, the evening of today, today is Friday, Friday evening at sunset. When the sun sets right now, where I'm seated, the sun has risen brightly from the east, falling in through this lounge. And I'm here with the word of the Lord, preparing my heart before him. And that's why I want to speak to you because many of us that are in the Gentile church, the Western church, do not realize the significance of today. Today, Friday. What is so important about today? Well, at sunset today begins a very significant holiday. Or, pardon me, I should not be saying holiday. It's a holy day. Not a holiday, a holy day. What day is it? The day is called, and this evening marks the commencement of this day. The day is called Rosh HaShanah. Rosh HaShanah. Now, Rosh is a Hebrew alphabet, which means highest. Rosh in Hebrew, the alphabet itself means highest. So today marks Rosh Hashanah. It's the Jewish New Year. It's the Old Covenant New Year. And I want to show you the scripture in Exodus. And we don't have the time to chat about it. But in Hebrew, in the Hebrew scriptures, Exodus 12, 2, the scripture says, This month shall be your beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. God was saying to Moses and the children of Israel, forget the calendar you following. I am now saying to you this month, God set aside this month, September, and he restarts the year for them because you know Exodus chapter 12 is about the Passover season that begins a new season. So for the old covenant people the people that are living living in israel right now today every jew across the planet the biblical new year begins at sunset that means tonight when the sun sets rosh hashanah begins and rosh hashanah is our new year the biblical new year the gregorian calendar our new year begins in january the biblical new year the scriptural new year, the new year God begins, begins today. Today is New Year's Day, Rosh Hashanah. It's a brand new start. And Rosh Hashanah is accompanied by the blowing of the shofar. The shofar. Now let's go and look at this very quickly. In Leviticus, we see the introduction of Rosh Hashanah. Speak to the children of Israel saying, in the seventh month on the first day, you shall have a Sabbath rest, a memorial of blowing of trumpets. So Rosh Hashanah is marked by the blowing of the trumpet or the shofar. Now someone said, well, pastor, that's in the old covenant. Oh, no, 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 no. The blowing of the trumpet goes right through into the new covenant. In 1 Corinthians, for example, it says, in a moment in the twinkling of the eye at the last trumpet, the word trumpet there in Corinthians is shofar. The shofar will sound and Jesus will come. Then in Thessalonians, it says, For the Lord himself, Adonai himself, will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet, with the shofar of God. So what is today? Today is Rosh Hashanah. It's marked by the blowing of trumpets. It's a it will go up to the 17th and it commences 10 days of celebration. And it will go right into Yom Kippur that we're going to celebrate. So Rosh Hashanah begins now. Yom Kippur will be celebrated later and I'll talk to you about that. And then we'll celebrate something known as the Feast of Tabernacles. So saints, we are in a holy season. We are in a precious season. Right now, it's a time to seek the face of the Lord. That's what the people in Israel did. They sought God. They repented of their sins. 
during Rosh Hashanah. By the time Yom Kippur came, God atoned for their sins. Yom Kippur, in English, Yom Kippur is the day of atonement. When they cried out to the Lord during Rosh Hashanah, sounded the trumpet. Well, what did they sound the trumpet for? To call the people. Sounding the shofar is to call the people. Call the people for what? Seek the face of God. Seek God with all your heart. Rend your heart and not your garments is what we're doing this during the season. So it's a holy season. It's a biblical season. There are scriptural instructions for the season. And I'm so glad that I'm starting the morning with you on this devotion. Now, what can you do with your family? Seek the Lord with all your heart. Sunday morning, I'll see you at church, 7.30 a.m. More important than that, tomorrow is Saturday. And tomorrow, inside Rosh Hashanah, think about it. You students that are graduating tomorrow morning, you are graduating during the season of Rosh Hashanah. During the time the people of God are crying out to God. What a privilege to graduate, receive your certificate. And I got all your certificates here in front of me. I'll be praying over that right now. You are graduating during, in the midst of Rosh Hashanah. You are a blessed group of students. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow morning, early, bright and early. And it's a huge, grand graduation ceremony. And I'm inviting you to come and join us. Don't miss the ceremony. And remember, every student can bring uh, their family members. You're more than welcome to bring your family members. We've made accommodation for you. I can't wait. It's going to be a glorious, glorious time. So, a very blessed and happy Rosh Hashanah to you, to your family, and to everyone that loves the Lord. God bless you.